اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم In this session we are going to perform bootstrapped independent sample t-test. Let's say I've got my data and the problem is that data is non-normal. That is, the data that I have, I'm interested in assessing is not normally distributed. In such situations when the data is not normally distributed, we can use bootstrapping. In this session, we are going to focus on how to perform bootstrapping when using independent samples t-test. So let's go to analyze, compare means, independent samples t-test. Now in this particular session, I'm interested in finding out whether the communication and perception of vision differs between male and female respondents. Now, since it's a difference between two groups, I'm going to use independent samples t-test. But the issue is that my data is not normally distributed. So, I will use independent samples t-test. I could have used man with new u-test because that's a non-parametric alternative to independent sample t-test. But that particular test is based on median values. And it does not give me the t-statistics as well. I wanted something that is based on means and gives me the T statistics. Now, so I will press here and here is my test variable that is my dependent variable that is the criterion variable, my grouping variable. So what you can do is let's say they weren't here. So gender from the left side, put it here, define groups one and two. My test variable vision. Put it here, click options, all looks good. Now we are interested in bootstrapping. Click here. I want to perform bootstrapping. Normally the recommended is 5000 to 10,000. So let's do 5000 and let's select bias corrected accelerated confidence interval to get a more stable solution. From sampling, whatever sampling technique you are using. Now, if you are not using probability sampling technique, and you are using non-probability sampling technique, then please use man whitney U-Test. Press continue and let's press OK. Estimate effect size to get the Cohen D values. Press OK. Now here are your initial results. Simple was the sampling method. Number of bootstrap samples, 95,000. Confidence interval, 95,000. And confidence interval type bias corrected and accelerated confidence interval. Now here, if you see, it's running and may take some time to get our results. Now here are my results, the group statistics. Now male, the total sample size is 288. The mean value is 5.08. Very little bias, standard deviation, standard error of mean. Okay, so we are 95% confident that the sample mean will range between 4.93 to 5.24. Similarly, you have got mean value for female respondents. Now, what is this mean value? The female respondents perception of vision, the average is 4.73. And this is out of seven. So we can say that to a certain extent they have or they agree with the communication of vision within the organization how well the vision is communicated to the employees. There is a certain amount of agreement in both male and females. But I want to find out whether this perception of agreement with the communication of vision differs between male and female significantly. Now here are the results for original independent samples t-test. Now I'm not going to look into this because my data is not normal. So what I'll need is from this particular table here is just the Levine's test for equality of variance. Now, why do I need this? Because in the bootstrap sample or bootstrap test for independent sample t-test, I've got equal variance assumed row and equal variance not assumed row. And I've got two significance values. Now, I want to know which one to use to test whether or not the communication and perception of vision differs between male and female. To do so, Stage one or step one is Levine's test for equality of variance. 
Now in this case, it is insignificant. This means equal variance is assumed. The variances between the two groups is equal. If this would have been significant, we would have said equal variance not assumed. Now since we ran bootstrap for independent sample test, we are going to come to this table and look at the first row because equal variance is assumed. And if we see here, this is your bootstrap significance 0.101, which is greater than 0.05. This shows that there are insignificant differences in how the vision is communicated and understood between male and female respondents. The two groups do not have any differences for the central variable or the test variable. Look at this here. There is a zero in between. This is minus, this is plus, so there is a zero in between. This also shows insignificant results. Cohen D, the point estimate is small, so there are very small differences between the two groups for vision or understanding of vision. I hope this session would have helped you understand how to perform bootstrapping for independent samples test.